this is uh, the last weekend in August. This is the time I start to get pretty serious about uh, fall plots. And this year, um, my intention was to do maybe one small fall, fall plot. I've got three plots on this place. And I wanted to do the other two, and maybe all three of them with a spring planting. But the way the weather went, obviously it's been incredibly dry. And uh, we just didn't have the opportunity to do it. So what we're going to talk about today is a concept called nurse crops. And a nurse crop is going to provide you a crop that's, you know, available for the deer to browse on while your other crop is getting established. And at the same time, it's also what we're using it for is to help uh, hold soil moisture in because it is so dry. Um, what we're standing in here is a, is a monster magnet plot that we planted uh, the end of July. And it's really not intended to be planted that late. It's supposed to be planted early summer but we didn't have the weather conditions to do that. So what happened in the end of July is we got the first kind of major rain event of the summer and really it was just two days of rain that um, got this ground pretty wet. We're in a low lying area that already has, you know, pretty moist soil conditions because the water tables, you know, near the surface. And we got three of them that we planted that same time frame: Two in the Monster Magnet and one in Big and Beastie. And we'll take a look at all three. This one is doing really well. I think we had a little bit of uh, weeds come in here, but not, not too bad. But what I wanted is I wanted a place where the deer were going to feed in October, but I also wanted something there for late season. And I wasn't sure what would happen planting that late in July. Well, here's what's happening. Um, we've already got turnips starting um, that are pretty good size, and they still have some growing to do. Um, it looks like some of the sugar beets are coming in. So this, is, this plot's doing exactly what we wanted under probably the worst conditions you could have. We've only had maybe two or three rains since it was planted in late July, and here we are at the end of August. So in roughly one month's time, this is what's already established. Lots of forage here. Um, the other plot that we're gonna look at that is doing well was in Big and Beastie, and the one we're gonna look at that's not doing as well is also in Monster Magnet, but it's in a tiled field, so it's not getting the soil moisture, and that's where we're gonna put the nurse cropping to work. <laughs> 